Your team is number one. Tell me what you think about it. Lady, turn off the camera. Don't play with me, girl. Get your Dominican Amazon stuff back over here in this camera. <laughs> Tell your grandma how it feels to be number one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. All right, go Not ahead. Come over here. Yeah. How does it feel to be number one, granddaughter? Come on, you got to have an answer for your fans. I don't have fans. Yes, you do have fans. You have a thousand people following you on Marie's Tutus and Bows. That is your fan company. That is your first fan page. You have a thousand followers. Tell Marie's Tutus and Bows how you feel being number one. Uh, Cheer Athletics yeah. is a worldwide cheer. Uh, what is it? Corporation? What do you call yourself? Tutu the Bow. Her name is Marie Tutu the Bow. She's been selling bows since she's been five. Yeah, okay. She has a page on Facebook that she has a thousand followers plus that really admire her. All of her things she's done since she's been five. She's had that page since she's been five. So now she shows them things that she's doing other than selling bows. So I want her to tell them. How does she feel being number one for the next cheer girls coming under you? You know, you have followers that are younger than you. I want you to what tell them. Tell the little girls? Yes, what do you tell the little girls that's been into cheer? The positiveness needs to come out of your mouth. I just want to know how do you feel being number one? I feel like you I don't know how you feel. Like, like you, know, you know how college That's the whole are. reason why I interview people because I want to know how you feel. I know it's a little overwhelming. It just happened yesterday, but I'm not overwhelmed. I just want to give a shout out to your mom. Can you do that? Let's give a shout out to your mom if you can't answer the question. Tell the world how great your mom I, is. How is your home? This is your moment. Oh, oh, we're talking about her. Her is her. Okay. One time for the rodeo. Y'all love my mom. She's, she's good. She's the bomb, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And what else? <laughs> she has her own company, and we should support that, too. And she's the reason why you're here. And number one. Yeah. Even when you didn't want to do it. The chairs. Oh, I gotta go to chair practice for two hours. It was worth it. You and your teams rocked yesterday. You all supported each other and you and you took care of each other because tell them about being in cheer. Cheer is a very dangerous sport. So the fact that you all had no injuries yesterday, everybody was great. Did you see yourself? You literally picked that girl up like she was a fly. You, I saw the video, I rewinded. it. You rocked. You picked that girl up like it was nothing. And your muscles was popping out in your legs. Did you see that? Girl, you showed the Amazon you are. I am so proud of my Amazon Dominican granddaughter. I just don't know what to do with myself today. You showed your skills. You showed your body strength. And I want to say personally, as your grandmother, I am very proud of you. I didn't even do any work, to be honest. Huh? I didn't do none of that work. I was slacking off. Girl, you did amazing. Did you see the video? Oh, you know it. Yeah, I knew it too. Like, I wasn't doing, I, that girl was probably like, that girl was pretty heavy. Or I didn't do any of that. You rock. You rock. You are not only in cheer. You are in soccer, you are in dance, you are in, um, what is it? Violin. Taekwondo, you are in violin. Is it violin? Violin. What is it, violin? Violin. What other um, music you do? Choir. Choir. Like, you're a super dope little girl. Your future looks really, really bright. And I'm just happy that. I'm just into black now. What is that? Mm. What's in flat? I was asking to your beats too. Oh, she's in flat medicine. She helps military students get comfortable in situations. What? Oh my God! Come back! Come back! We're doing a show. We're doing an interview. Come back, Nicole. Right up. I need you on this wall. Uh,
of the basement. Come on, the rest of the basement, we have to finish cleaning it up. Victoria, come back yeah. to the interview. Put it back on. The clock is still running. Do y'all ever, listen, this is what I have to go through when I interview my granddaughter. Come to this wall. No, I'm Come good. on. I can talk in here. Come on this wall because we posting these videos? We, I don't want to. Yes, we are. <laughs> this is going on our YouTube. Yes, it is. So you're an AFLAC leader. That is. Can, could you spell that for me? You think about it. M. Do you, can you spell it? Yeah, it's you. You're in it. Can you spell it? If we are, we say M flat. M flat leader of your school. And what is the job of the M flat leader? Oh my God. Do y'all have granddaughters like this that y'all want to celebrate and that is actually doing something great? And this, you know, you get it. You all get it. You have kids. We're human. Most times it just don't happen in your household. It's happening in somebody else's household too. So we just want to take this moment to congratulate this girl power, Marie Beauty and Beast Mode ambassador, Beauty and Beast Mode CEO's daughter, Victoria Marie Perez. So not only is her mom beasting, she is beasting. Two. And she is a pet owner of a multi poo. You have a multi poo in your house? That's like Picasso. A multi poo is like having a Picasso in your house. This is a $10,000 dog, okay? Plus. <sighs> I. Dreamed and prayed for you to have the life that you have. I'm not gonna cry, but I literally dreamed and prayed for you to have this life. My, I did. Like everybody, pray for their grandchildren. I hope they do. Pray for their grandchildren and their children in advance. I'm a in advance prayer. So like I already started praying for your children and their children that I will never see. And don't say you're not having kids because your mama said that too. And you said it right here in front of me. Okay? So, women are to produce. Nevertheless, I am praying. I am praying as I pray for you. And you are a true answer to my prayers. And I'm going to end this video with saying this is the most beautiful interview that I have ever done because you are my actual granddaughter. And you are my seeds, seed. And I am 50 years old. And I am just getting started with telling people how amazing you are. So let's give a hand clap for Victoria.